Hey guys, hope you're having a great day and today we're gonna be playing some Lost Vikings on the Cursed Hollow. I'm really excited about this one and I'm really excited to play some Lost Vikings for you. Okay, so the cool part about Lost Vikings is that not only, not only you get three heroes for the price of one, right? Uh, you also get two, like... When playing the game, you can just choose mid-game which heroes you want to play. So, for example, right here we can see that our team kinda needs a tank. Enemies don't have a tank, so we can just play Olaf for a bit. But I will definitely make this game a little bit harder for myself this time. Uh, like, uh, usually I just like to, um, I don't know, kind of dedicate myself to, let's say... I, I think Balog is my favorite. I mean, look at them, like, uh, Olaf. Olaf? Olaf. Olaf? Olaf has only a shield, right? A shield can only accomplish so much, right? Uh, then Eric has... That's not even, like... It's not even a weapon, right? And Balok is the only person with a sword here, so I feel like that guy is the only real, real victor here. And, but yeah, with this game, we're gonna make... Make it a little bit dif difficult for ourselves. We're gonna play... Um, the moment our Vikings die, I'm just gonna cycle through them, through different ones, and try to accomplish things that way. So right now we are just getting some good old body box with our Olaf. Sadly, he died. So let's go switch to Eric. I think Eric would be fun here. So let's uh, get some movement speed going. That's what your Z does when playing your Vikings. You can just activate it and Vikings will get 30% extra movement speed for 4 seconds. Which is kind of great. So right now we are playing Eric. He's very mobile, he has very long range for his attacks. They don't really hurt too much, but he definitely gets stuff done. He's actually really, really good for dismounting people and stuff like that, if you're if you're into that sort of strategy. So the bad part about Viking, so, is the fact that you can't really... Like, if you really want to be playing Balog, for example, you can go for a Balog build, but then every other Viking will be super weak. So, in this game, I guess we're gonna... We are just going to do some hybrid builds here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that for our Vikings. And try to get things done that way, right? So let's start off with some... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some explosive attacks for Balog. Even though we are not really playing him right now. Later on we will. So, yeah. We're gonna commit to that a little bit. Okay, so Phoenix is trying to kill us here. We gotta got ourselves a little good bait for Valera here. Won't really be a kill, sadly. Phoenix is a little bit too mobile for that, but... We should be alright. We're just gonna retreat a little bit. And also, Eric the Swift. Now, Eric is gonna be absolutely unkillable. Maybe I should've went for Sabotage, but... I don't know. Actually, I should've tried it, because I'm used to playing with Sabotage that's... Uh, like, it would remove the ammo from structures, and that's no longer a thing. Uh, so they redesigned the talent, and I haven't really tried it after that. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But so far, having a good time with Eric, using our beautiful slingshot here to toss some rocks into this minion's faces. Just, just doing our part, just doing our job here. Hmm. We are surprisingly strong versus Phoenix there. Oh man, too bad Valera got. Okay, time to play Balog. Finally, a real warrior shows up. Uh, so yeah, too bad Valera got revealed there. She sh she would have been able to easily secure that kill on Phoenix. He already had half of his shields gone, and it would just be one silence from Valera, and he would have died. So let's go play the good old. Okay, Eric, go back. We don't want you yet. Uh, let's go play good old Baylock. We have our splash damage against not he non heroes empowered here, but not much can happen from that. Uh, so. The strength of Balok is that he does decent damage with his auto attacks. Unlike Eric, who does very little damage, but he's attacking super fast. Balok, on the other hand, he does decent damage, doesn't attack that fast, but he cleaves all the time. So he's really good at clearing waves, for example. And maybe that's what I should have been doing there, instead of trying to harass the enemy team. Oh man, Valera. Poor girl. She just died like that. Got destroyed by Genji. But maybe? Oh wow, okay, good kill. Genji trying to dive Lily. Not always the greatest idea. Okay, Olaf is on the track. Olaf is the tank guy of the Vikings. He doesn't really do any damage, but he has this... Um, it's like a hidden ability. He's able to slow people down by charging at them. It doesn't really do much right now, but it definitely 
helps out in team fights and whatnot. Like when you're trying to secure a kill and people run away, we just still kind of go in and get it done. So I will use my Z here. I need to regroup with my team for this curse, and we're gonna do exactly that. Um, I will go for spin to win, or maybe. Um, Actually, maybe Norse Force would be better here, just so that we can survive a little bit longer or something like that. Although Spin to Win is fine, let's let's go Spin to Win. Just some extra damage for for our good old Viking. Okay, oh, uh, too bad, all have died. Okay, go back to Eric, and now we are gonna try to harass them here at the curse. Oh man, oh man, no, our poor allies, they are getting demolished by this team. Oh, maybe Valira can get a sneaky kill here. That would be cool. I'm trying to help her out, and I'm really trying to help her out. And there we go, Eric making plays, making plays, always fun, always fun. So thanks to our level 4 ability, while we are constantly moving around, we're able to heal ourselves up. Well, not enough to survive a Ragnaros hit, sadly. Sadly, that's too strong. So let's let's go back to Baylock, and we're gonna try some push to get some pushing done, right? Even so, Baylock is like the scariest of the Vikings. He does damage. He is quite sturdy, sturdier than Eric is, but he isn't really that effective in team fights because he just can't, like, he doesn't have that health pool of Olaf or the movement speed of Eric to just kite people around. Uh, but if you leave Baylock all alone doing his own thing, he can definitely get some stuff done. Ow, 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 you hurt Phoenix. Oh, really? Oh man, that was so close. Damn. Damn. Okay, Baylock not really, not really surviving the fights we need him to survive. Back to Olaf we go. We'll use our Z and sprint straight to the curse. Actually, sprint straight to middle. Let's just stay middle as Olaf. Next curse will spawn. We should be ready to react to whatever's happening. So here we go in the mid lane. Also, every time you pick up a regen globe, you get this passive bonus health regen, which is quite useful. It can it can really add up in the end. So let's get some experience for our team. Soak this lane. So yeah, since I'm kind of like making this oh, wow, okay. I'm s I, I was distracted looking at this bot lane. Poor Olaf. Poor Olaf. Oh well, back to Eric. So this is a, like this is a strong part of Vikings, right? Even though they die, you always have somebody else to play around with, and this is cool, right? Uh, also, also, if you die, you don't really give the enemies too much experience. So if you really like dying in this game, Vikings are a perfect hero for you. You can just keep playing and keep dying, right? Whereas Greyman right now is suffering that uh, death screen grayness we actually get to play our heroes and that is cool so okay okay our ultimates not i don't know i don't know longbow trade let's go with longbow trade hmm i'll maybe play again actually let's go play again let's do that let's do that okay there is vala trying to capture the tribute but we can be the annoying eric and just prevent her here from capturing this forever and Valyria is coming here to help us and that will be a dead Vala. This Valyria is making some plays. Let's get this tribute going for us. Ow, ow, Phoenix hurts, Phoenix hurts, but I will disable his shields here so that he will be kind of squishy for this Valyria and that should be a kill. Yes, wonderful job, wonderful job. Back to Olaf we go. Let's go sprint. So what your play again allows you to do is to kind of re-summon all the Vikings. You can summon, like revive and summon all the Vikings right where you are using it. And that can be very useful because you get like this instant three Viking team up on somebody and you just try to kill them as fast as possible. So there we go. We got the curse. Vala is being super aggressive. Let's see if we can punish her. We do have our slow available, so if I'm able to catch up to her and slow her down a little bit, uh, Greyman should be able to secure that kill. So right there we, we've seen the charge in action. Ow. 
Man, she really hates me. She really okay. Oh, oh well. Oh well. This is definitely this is no. Olaf is quite tanky, but he is no Eric. He can just run and survive forever, sadly. And yeah, with because I'm kind of making this game a little bit harder for me. I'm not really like committing to one Viking, so we have all of these hybrid abilities that don't really make any of our Vikings super strong. It's just like all of them can kind of do things instead of just having super strong Olaf or something like that. That's not the greatest, but we can still get some pushing down here. So we got 10 seconds on this fort. Probably won't be able to kill it. I don't know, maybe there is a chance? 4 seconds? No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. But we got the experience from this, and that's what counts. So since we haven't invested anything into Olaf just yet, I feel like Hanka burning Olaf is just the way to go right now. So right now we're gonna be using this Baylog to clear this lane super fast and establish a really strong push on bot lane. And then our minions will come in and just kill this fort with our help, right? There we go. Pretty cool stuff. Very easy. Very easy to push lanes with Baylog. So we can be kind of like a split pusher for our team. Well, sadly, nobody on the enemy team allows us to have any sort of fun. So we just gonna, we just have to keep running all the time, all the time. They always harass us, always try to kill us. But that's the life li you live as Vikings, because, well, you are, you don't really have big health bars, so people try to kill you. And sadly, that's that's very easy to do. That's very easy to do. But you can try your best to survive, to, to get some get some things done. Right there, Valera is just killing people, having a good old time. She's probably, probably gonna win, win this game for us, to be honest. I mean, this is quick match, right? Valera is super strong in quick matches. This is... yeah, I kinda need to go back now. Kinda need to go back because I don't have any health. Although, I can instead use my ultimate, and that would achieve the same result here. Okay, yeah. Let's use our ultimate here, there we go. So we got all of our vikings coming in. Coming in here, just getting some stuff done. Wow, it's very interesting. I now control all of them, even though I didn't necessarily want to. Okay, let's get out like triple squad. Let's go triple squad for now. Let's do this. Um, I'm a bit scary though, okay. Let's rush this, let's rush this Ragnaros. Let's see what we can do here. Well, that didn't work out too well. Oh, he is actually ulting, okay. Maybe not the best idea I ever had. Okay, Eric, Eric, you need to be the sole survivor. Eric, okay, too bad. All of our Vikings died, but we killed some molten core, and that's... I think that was the perfect raid. We basically, basically, we just raided the molten core and completely destroyed it, right? That's what happened there. Cool stuff. Valera is sneaking in, trying to get a really good flank here. Sadly, she just will not be able to survive that, I'm afraid. Oh, maybe? Oh my god, she barely escaped that uh, ultimate from Phoenix. So yeah, let's play again ultimate. Can be very strong, but as you can see, like right there, we kind of went into battle, all of us, and we all of us died, so we weren't able to play anything for like 20 seconds or something like that. That's no fun, that's no fun. So yeah, you gotta be careful with how you want to be using your ultimate. Uh, let's go top this time. Actually, let's go middle. Let's let's try to find some people in here. There we go. Found Phoenix again. He is being annoying as always. Ow. Why does he hurt so much? That's so unfair. That's so unfair. But we do do we do deal decent damage to him. Although he is able to completely regenerate his shields using his level 13 talent with just one auto attack. So maybe that's not the greatest plan ever. Maybe not the greatest plan ever. I think I will go for uh, large and then charge, right? So we have this charge on Olaf, right? That slows people. But now with this talent, it will actually stun them. So yeah, we can get some, some stuff done that way. Uh, since enemies are distracted, I will use Eric to capture this curse. Uh, they should not be able to interrupt me. And we got it. Wonderful job. Wonderful job, team. Uh, good job distracting them. And now, we just bought ourselves a little bit of a breathing room here. Um, we are not being cursed. Okay. Genji is diving. 
Phoenix is also thinking about it, but he doesn't have any health. So I don't know how smart that would be. Oh wow, well done, good follow up by Lily. Okay, let's go back to Olaf. I don't remember the rotation, I think it's Olaf's time, maybe it was Baylog, but what can you do? What can you do really? Okay, Olaf, let's go. Now that we have our stun, we have also this burning aura around us, we can be much more effective. The problem is that we can't really keep ourselves alive too much. Maybe I should have picked up jump here, that could have could have helped us a little bit with the survivability, but I kind of thought that we don't really need it too much. Okay, so since, since Valera is coming, sneaking around again, coming real close here, we can maybe set up a kill for her, something like that. Using our stun again, that would be that would be great. Okay, another Molten Core incoming. Uh, that thing was activated. And we are just destroying this Kerosene here. Well done! Okay, Ragnaros is there, but there is no fort. So Ragnaros, after emerging from the Molten Core, will be super vulnerable here. We just gotta find him, and we just gotta kill him. That should be very easy to do. Very easy to do. Where is my charge? Why doesn't... Sometimes your charge just does not activate, and I don't know what the reasoning for that is. I really don't know what the reasoning for that is. Uh, so it's Baylock's time. Oh, this is perfect, because we need to clear that middle lane, so we're gonna use Baylock to achieve exactly that. Again, it's so nice to play Vikings, because, well, you never... You don't have downtime, really. You always have something to do. You always have a hero to play around with. It's just too bad that they die so fast, right? But I guess that's balancing issue, like if they were able to survive just forever, like... Like any other hero, right? It would be really hard to balance around Vikings, so... It kind of had to happen, it kind of had to happen. So let's, let's get this going. Let's kill this wave super fast. And the curse is coming up, so after I cleared the wave I can use my sprint. Go straight for the curse. I was I thought we were doing the boss there. I guess I guess our team gave up. Well that's too bad. But I don't think anybody is coming here. Maybe enemies are distracted with our team doing the boss. So now we got the curse. Um let's go bottom lane as Baylock and try to try to finally push this bot lane in. That would be a lot of fun. And Ragnaros is preventing it again. Man, I hate this lava wave. It's really not fun. It's really not fun, completely denying us the value here. But we can still get some stuff done. So let's let's start pushing this fort. Let's get lost, Baylog. Let's do this. Okay, so I will try to kite this giant so that they stand behind the fort. That way I will be able to cleave them like that. There we go. It's only one giant though. There we go, now we are hitting both of them. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, I think Valera was sneaking around in the enemy's backline there. Enemy side of the jungle trying to get some kills, but Ragnaros was there ready to kill her. Oh well, too bad. Oh man, there is an enemy boss pushing in the top lane. I feel like maybe I should deal with that. Ow, 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 another lava wave. No, but we survived. It's all good. So let's get ourselves some vision. I will rotate to the middle lane right now. There is a camp pushing. Let's help that camp out. So here, I guess we can go for the Fury of the Storm. The sequel isn't really that useful to us, because, well, we never really... I mean, we die, but we always have somebody to play with. It's never really been a point where, like, all of us were dead, all of our Vikings, except that one time where I used my ultimate and just... We charged that Molten Core as hard as we could, but it was just way too much for us, especially with the whole enemy team showing up and killing us. Uh, so, I feel like Fury of the Storm would do some, some damage here. So, it will deal additional 90 damage to the target and 230 damage to all minions nearby. So, I can just one-shot this wave, is that what the point of this is? Oh, that was fun. And it does that every 5 seconds? That's cool. Huh. That's really fun. It also has this really cool sound effect. Hell yeah. Just killing waves as Eric. That's nice though, because uh, Eric doesn't really have much wave clear, but with this talent now, it's all different. And we can maybe even kill this Kerosene with this extra burst that we have. 
Oh yeah, you better you better catch up to me, enemies. You know what? I'm gonna make a sneaky move happen. Oh no, they saw me. Too bad, too bad I got reactions. And yeah. You can't catch, you can't catch Eric! No? Okay, let's, let's do some damage there. <laughs> well, we did some stuff. Not too much stuff, but some stuff. Um, okay. Baylock is already charging middle. I think I forgot to tell him to stay. To stay at the base. In fact, okay, you know what? This would be a perfect... Oh, no. Damn, Olaf. Olaf, it's all on you now. Olaf, you need to help your team out. Don't, don't die to a lava wave. No, all of us are dead. Are dead so. I don't know if we can save this Lily. I'm gonna try with my stun. Stun didn't happen. Stun happened now, but it was too late. Ah, oh, I really don't know why it sometimes happens and sometimes it doesn't. It's supposed to be like a passive char. Oh, oh no! All of our Vikings actually died. No. What? What will we do now? In fact, all of our team is dead, and this. This seems like a loss. We were, we were doing so well. I don't know what happened. Like, all of a sudden, just everyone was dead. After they chased down Eric, my whole team died. And now now we are in this situation. Well, that's not fun. Okay, the final stand of the Vikings. And, oh. Oh, well. Well, we did get some experience done for our team. And I guess... I guess it's... Yeah. Oh, well. We tried. We really, really tried. But it's really hard to win as Vikings. In fact, we are the master of the curse, so that's cool. Sometimes it can be can be difficult to like, carry your team as Vikings because, like, if you compare Vikings to, let's say, a Genji or something like that, you can't really just dash in and kill the whole enemy team, right? You are just kind of there poking with your uh, slingshot just a little bit or like using your shield to stun a person. And sometimes it doesn't even happen. I don't know why. And yeah, it can be it can be a bit rough, but we tried.